Seoul, South Korea, AP, North Korea said Thursday that it had test-fired a new type of tactical guided weapon, its first such test in nearly half a year, and demanded that Washington remove Secretary of State Mike Pompeo from nuclear negotiations. The test which didn't appear to be of a banned mid- or long-range ballistic missile that could scuttle negotiations, allows North Korea to show its people it is pushing ahead with weapons development while also reassuring domestic military officials worried that diplomacy with Washington signals weakness. Separately, the North Korean foreign ministry accused Pompeo of playing down the significance of comments by leader Kim Jong-un who said last week that Washington has until the end of the year to offer mutually acceptable terms for an agreement to salvage the high-stakes nuclear diplomacy. Both the demand for Pompeo's removal from the talks and the weapon test point to North Korea's displeasure with the deadlocked negotiations. In a statement issued under the name of Kwon Jong-un, Director General of the American Affairs Department at the Foreign Ministry, North Korea accused Pompeo of talking nonsense and misrepresenting Kim's comments. During a speech at Texas A&M on Monday, Pompeo said Kim promised to denuclearize during his first summit with President Donald Trump and that U.S. Officials were working with the North Koreans to chart a path forward so we can get there. He, Kim said he wanted it done by the end of the year, Pompeo said. I'd love to see that done sooner. The North Korean statement said Pompeo was misrepresenting the meaning of our requirement for the negotiations to be finalized by the year's end, and referred to his talented skill of fabricating stories. It said Pompeo's continued participation, in the negotiations would ensure that the talks become entangled and called for a different counterpart who is more careful and mature in communicating with us. In Washington, the State Department said in a short statement that we are aware of the report. The United States remains ready to engage North Korea in a constructive negotiation. In a speech at his rubber stamp parliament last week, Kim said he is open to a third summit with Trump, but only if the United States changes its stance on sanctions enforcement and pressure by the end of the year. Kim observed the unspecified weapon being fired Wednesday by the Academy of Defense Science, the North's state-run Korean Central News Agency said. Kim was reported to have said the development of the weapon system serves as an event of very weighty significance in increasing the combat power of the People's Army. The Associated Press could not independently verify North Korea's claim, and it wasn't immediately clear what had been tested. A major ballistic missile test would jeopardize the diplomatic talks meant to provide the North with concessions in return for disarmament. A South Korean analyst said that details in the North's media report indicate it could have been a new type of cruise missile. Another possible clue, one of the lower-level officials mentioned in the North's report on the test, Pak Jong Chan, is known as an artillery official. Some in Seoul worry that the North will turn back to actions seen as provocative by outsiders as a way to force Washington to drop its hardline negotiating stance and grant the North's demand for a removal of crushing international sanctions, a string of increasingly powerful weapons tests in 2017 and Trump's response of fire and fury had many fearing war before the North shifted to diplomacy. Russia announced Thursday that Kim will visit later this month for talks at the invitation of President Vladimir Putin, but gave no further details. Russian media have been abuzz in recent days with rumors about the rare meeting between the leaders. Putin is to visit China later this month, and some media speculated that he could meet with Kim in Vladivostok, the far eastern port city near the border with North Korea. Trump said last month that he would be very disappointed if I saw testing. There have been fresh reports of new activity at a North Korean missile research center and long-range rocket site where the North is believed to build missiles targeting the U.S. Mainland 
North Korean media said Wednesday that Kim guided a flight drill of combat pilots from an Air Force and anti-aircraft unit tasked with defending the North from an attack. Kim dong yub an analyst from Seoul's Institute for Far Eastern Studies, said North Korea's descriptions of the test show the weapon is possibly a newly developed cruise missile. The North's report said the tactical guided weapon successi tested in a peculiar mode of guiding flight and demonstrated the ability to deliver a powerful warhead. The analyst said the test could also be intended as a message to the North Korean people and military of a commitment to maintaining a strong level of defense even as it continues talks with Washington over nukes. Melissa Hanum, a non-proliferation expert and director of the Datio project at the One Earth Future Foundation said the North Korean weapon could be anything from an anti-tank weapon to a cruise missile. The North said Thursday that Kim Jong-un mounted an observation post to learn about and guide the test fire of the weapon. This is the first known time Kim has observed the testing of a newly developed weapon system since last November, when North Korean media said he watched the successful test of an unspecified newly developed ultra-modern tactical weapon. Some observers have been expecting North Korea to orchestrate low-level provocations, like artillery or short-range missile tests, to register its anger over the way nuclear negotiations were going. North Korean officials accompanying Kim at the test included Ri Pyeongchol and Kim Jong-sik, two senior officials from the North's munitions industry department who have been sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury Department for their activities related to the country's ballistic missile program. Ri is believed to be a key official involved in North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missile development while Kim Jong-sik has been linked to the country's efforts to build solid-fuel missiles. The Pyongyang-based munitions industry department is sanctioned both by the United States and the UN. Security Council Even if this is not a missile test the way we strictly define it, these people and MID are all sanctioned entities for a reason, Hanum said. The White House said it was aware of the report and had no comment. The Pentagon also said it was aware but had no information to provide at this point. South Korea's presidential office said it has no immediate comment. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said it is analyzing the test but did not specifically say what the weapon appeared to be. After the animosity of 2017, last year saw a stunning turn to diplomacy, culminating in the first-ever summit between the U.S and North Korea in Singapore, and then the Hanoi talks this year. North Korea has suspended nuclear and long-range rocket tests, and the North and South Korean leaders have met three times. But there